By late 1918, the Allies were winning the war. But at the same time, death began to come in another form all over the world. In just a few months, the influenza epidemic of 1918 killed far more people than World War I itself. All over the country, people were getting sick, and then they were dying. The flu killed over 195,000 Americans that October, the deadliest month in this nation's history. On November 4th, an emergency session of the Las Vegas City Commission passed an extraordinary ordinance. Everyone within city limits shall at all times and all places wear upon the face a mask. Masks were used all over the country, but they did not help. The porous masks were no serious restraint to the tiny influenza microbes. It was like trying to keep out dust with chicken wire. By November 9th, the Las Vegas Age reported, there is difficulty in getting sufficient caskets for the dead. Just two days later, the world went into collective ecstasy. It was November 11th. World War I was over. People paraded in the streets, many wearing masks. Yet the celebration was double. The war was over and the worst of the epidemic was passing. By conservative estimate, the flu killed 550,000 Americans in 10 months. We lost over that period of time uh, uh, between 50 and 60 people that, uh, that died, and, and some lingered on for, for a year or so. It hit hard. It hit this community very hard. 